Welcome back to another video. This one is on the newest update, which is about death. It's the new intro. Now, when you first spawn in, you're probably already going to be in the intro area. If for some reason you are not, then you head to Battleon and talk to Artex. After a small cutscene talking thingy, you are going to come to here. I have not gone any further than this, so all of this is new to me. Follow the quest tracker. Walk to the weapon. Give me weapon. Oh, click on weapon. I see. Wait, did you actually give me a weapon? No. Oh, use call. I see. Ooh, what's your job? I'll take it. Gotta defeat all of them, do I? Skeleton versus skeleton. Oh, thank you. Hey. Wrist plates? Why not? Skeleton versus bone berserker, and he's down for the count. Dented iron helmet. I like how death looks. Okay. Ooh, all caps. Head to the door. I'm assuming this is the door. Large door. Wow. We broke that in good shape. Well, this is gorgeous. Okay, that was awesome. Talk to Artex. And there we go. That is the little run through. Now that was extremely short. Now that was supposed to teach you the basics of the game, but there is still a lot of questions that people would have. I don't recall it telling me how to open my inventory. I don't recall it telling me how to use potions or how to open the travel menu. It didn't touch on crafting, didn't tell me how to change my classes. There should have been a lot more to it. It was great. I loved it, but it just wasn't informative enough. Luckily, the game is pretty straightforward. But anyways, it was thoroughly enjoyable. The animations were fantastic. Before we head back to Death's Domain, I'm going to show you something that they have added, which is pretty cool. They now have a working preview button, so you can now see what the travel forms look like before buying them. So this is a really good idea because now at least you don't need to go and find pictures to see what they look like. To get back to Death's Domain, you go to this crystal and Death's Lair is right there. Or you can go to the Travel button and you'll see it right here. You know what the funny thing is? There's still the intro available. I don't know what they're going to be doing about that. Talk to Death. Along with the quest line came a new faction, and this is pretty much for any level. They've got some new stuff here that you unlock the higher you go up in the faction. If you're lazy, don't feel like farming, you can just buy them here for two. You're going to need a lot, so you got a robe, a hood, 
Ooh, a mask. Ooh, creepy. Bone worshiper robes. Oh, that's kind of cool. A sickle. Ooh, I like that. That is nice. Death's hourglass. That's cool. I am going to be getting that. Now these are all based on levels. You've got level 20, level 16, level 12, level 8, and level 4. You get yourself a daily quest you can do. Might as well grab that while I'm here. And then you've got the quest, which is what I'm currently on right now. Yep. Pick pockets born. Yes, let's do it. Reusing dungeon textures, but that's okay. I'm clearly going to want to run warrior for this. There's Herman. Paging Mr. Herman. Better wait for everybody. Okay, well, apparently the boss gets dropped in five seconds. So do not do the first quest in a public dungeon. Do it in a private so go to here the reason why is because these things are very easy to beat and when you get to the boss it's going to take five seconds for it to get killed and then you'll have to redo the entire dungeon just like i had to do right now okay you come here and then i do this thank you and once you're done the first quest talk to death Anyways, the higher up in the quest line you go, the more dungeons you're going to unlock up until level 20. That also means they will be getting more challenging. But that is also how you level up the Reaper faction. I'll go into more details about it in another video, but one last thing, let's just check in this portal. A level 25 challenge. Interesting. Let me check it out. I'm really glad they brought in higher level content and not just low level content because it makes it a lot of fun. Plus having a new faction to level up, wicked fun. Reaper Dragon. Cool. Death's Contract? I think I just completed the daily. I did! Awesome! Since I completed the first quest, I now have access to these items. And then when I beat the 8th, I'm sure I'll have access to this and so on and so forth. But again, I'm going to go into more detail on that in another video. There are also titles you can get in the different maps. And I will be making another video about that as well. So for now, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I also wanted to mention we are running a huge 50 winner Artex points giveaway on our community, the AE Federation. If you would like to join that giveaway, check out the link in the description below for the Discord. You will find the giveaway channel on that server. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out my Twitter, you can check the links in the description below for that as well. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.